So, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Lukáš Zářecký. I'm a member of BASA team. And I would like to share with you some basic technical information about the Salesforce uh, process automation. So, uh, a few months ago, uh, you heard some basics uh, from Tomáš Jelinek about the Salesforce. So, you may already know about what is the Salesforce, that Salesforce is the leader in a cloud-based CRM platform. You know that the Salesforce is not just only CRM, it's a platform, because you can build your own applications with uh, your own processes without link to the customer. So it's not CRM, it's a platform. And you know that Salesforce has a few categories, like Sales Cloud, Service Cloud, Marketing Cloud, Community Cloud, Analytics Cloud, and the newest one is Internet of Things Cloud. It's a lot of clouds in Salesforce. And you get some, from, from Thomas, you get uh, some basic information about licensing. You can buy only one license and you will get the whole instance Salesforce. It's a, it's a perfect, I think. And you get a lot of information about the business process in uh, Yacht Charter Company. So this is the reason why I want to tell you more about the process automation in a Salesforce. In a Salesforce, there are the few ways how to automate the process. One of them is the process builder. I will talk more about this feature. Second one is very complex. It's a visual workflow. Third is workflow. And the last but not least is approvals. So this is the feature list, feature, um, how to say it? Uh, it's, a, it's a comparison list where you can see uh, for each feature, how it's complex, what actions is possible to do in these features. And we will focus on the process builder because process builder, I, from my side, is a very powerful thing in a Salesforce when you can build your own process and with, without code. So what is process builder? It's a feature where you can build your process by the graphical representation of this process. And it consists with criteria to determine when to fire the action and of course actions, immediate actions and uh, the scheduled actions. And there is the list of actions in the process builder. I can fire the Apex code, I can create the record, I can send an email, I can fire the flow, I can predefine the lot of flows and then only the fire them. It saves a lot of time. I can post to Chatter, this Chatter is the internal Salesforce communication tool. I can, I can fire some quick action, which I can predefine them before. I can send the submit for approval and update record or child record of the object. So this is the interface of the process builder. Of course, on the top is some button bar. And what is the main is canvas. Canvas is the name of the environment where we need to set on which object we will evaluate the criteria and then which actions, immediate actions or scheduled actions we will fire. And on the right side is the example, uh, the criteria entry for, I think it's for the, for the rules. Yeah, so now I will switch to the example. I hope it will work. Good. So this is my example, which I built on the lead object. Lead object in Salesforce is an object uh, with the potential customers. So you need to choose the object for the evaluation, you need to set if the criteria, if um, when the process will start, only if you will create the record or if you will create and or edit the record. In my case, I choose to when I create or edit. Where is the mouse? Here. Here you can see the criteria. You can set a lot of, lot of combinations of criteria when you want to fire the action or scheduled action. 
in my case, in this situation, I said that status lead must be not contacted and the source must be web. I will explain this on the example in the Salesforce. So, if I will add, this is the process automation. If I will add the lead, you can get the lead from the web form, not only to in a, in a manual input. I will choose, oh, Oscar here, good. So I will create the lead as Oscar. So with a new status and the lead source will be web. If I save it, so this was the conditions which I met. And now what the process builder will do. The process builder uh, created the task for the owner on this lead. So I will check it. Yeah, as you can see, the process builder uh, created the record task, and this task has uh, some fields which I predefined before. I predefined, uh, for example, reminder date is a lead uh, last modified date plus three. So all these all these conditions are here. So you will see that this reminder will remind me about about subject call to lead. Uh, today plus three days. So this is the first thing what the uh, process builder can do. It can do the, it can uh, add the object or record, sorry. Second one is a, uh, second action is uh, update, update uh, the record. And I said that update the record with marketing email checkbox to true only in case if this checkbox will be false. We can check it. I will open Oscar. And, and it, as you can see, the email opt out is a false and the system updated this field to true. And of course, after that, you can evaluate this field and send this field, send this uh, lead, uh, for example, marketing emails, if this lead has this uh, field marked as true. So this was the update field. The second action what can uh, the process builder do is a send an email. This one is contact or email to owner about the new lead. So if I'm owner, if I'm owner of lead, I will receive here. It's refresh work here. Yeah, this is it. I received information that in Salesforce, I have a new lead, the new lead name and the link. I don't know uh, why the link is not worked in the, in the web form, but the link is normal working and you can click on it and you will see your new lead in a Salesforce. And the second action is the same, but this mail will came to the lead, not to the owner of lead. And this is, Lead is linked, uh, Oscar, okay, I will, sorry, I need to, I need to input, you know, I need to input uh, my email to demonstrate. It's okay, yeah, it's new and web. So, I will receive in a few seconds a mail from, from Salesforce. Yeah, this is it. This is the predefined uh, template, HTML template in the Salesforce. So the process builder can, can fire mail to me as an owner or to the customer I mean, as a lead, some automatic email. And the last thing in these conditions are met, what I would like to do is change status on this lead to send first info email about Actum. Yeah, and as you can see, the lead status is updated. So this is the first, first uh, presentation, how to automate the process for the potential customers. And I have, uh, 
I have uh, some two, three, three more examples. It is almost the same, but I would like to show you the immediate action with the reminder now, with the create the record as a task. So if I will met the requirement that uh, status will be need a call and server's web, I can only edit Oscar. If need a call will be status and I save it. In a Salesforce is created a task now called to lead and this task will remind me I think in a few seconds and also I set in process builder to send me the immediate email that I need to contact the lead. Yeah, this is this email. You can define the emails in, in HTML or normal text, that depends on you. Or you can build the very nice emails, uh, use uh, the visual, for, um, visual force page. And where is the task? <coughs> yeah. Nah. Okay, maybe it takes some more time to, to show me the reminder of this task because the reminder is set when I update the, update the lead then to show me the reminder. It maybe will take some time. Okay, and the next thing is what I can do with the process builder is chatter post. Chatter post I will show you if the status will be no and the chat I will edit. Uh, it's a uh, new and chat. Yeah. By the way, this integration this integration has uh, the Yacht Charter. They have a chat <coughs> chat with the customers, and from this chat, they are creating the leads in this in a system. So if I set these these parameters. The Salesforce will create the chatter post in a chatter, so I can check. You can you can have a set the reminder for you. If I'm the mention in in the post, the system will send me the notification email what I need to do and some information what you defined in some template. And of course, I I received an email again that I have some lead on the chat. And the last thing what I want to show you is a approval request. In a Salesforce, you can set some limitation. For example, if I need to this lead, if I need to convert lead to the customer, I need to set the status of lead approved for a convert. If I would like to save it, it's a possible because there is some validation rule that is that show me that I need to set before read to convert status and then my line manager will receive an approval request. So this is not possible to save it. So I need to set the ready for convert. When I save it, the process in the process builder will start and the approval request will be sent to the line manager of, in this case, me. I have it linked on my email, so I will receive an approval request from me. Okay. No, leave this page. Yeah. So, what is good to say? I said in Salesforce that it's possible to approve or reject these approvals via mail. So what I can do is only, only answer this mail with these words and the system in a one minute will calculate it and update, update uh, the information what is needed to approve. But it takes time, so in this case I will open a Salesforce while link and approve this request. Of course you can modify you can modify the email template and you can modify what you will see uh, with the information in Salesforce. Yeah, as you can see I approved this request and this lead is approved for convert and now I can convert the lead 
uh, to the customer and account. And this is it. Thank you. So if you have some questions. Uh, regarding the chat, uh, you said it's integrated to Yacht Charger. Yeah. Is it something that I, as a, a Canticle developer, need to develop and use API, or is it some some code that you just uh, stuff in the website and it somehow works yeah. out, automatically? In case in case uh, of the Canticle website uh, in Yacht Charter, it is integrated via API. It is not original the chatter. It's some 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 day um, chatter chatter system. But it's integrated, yeah. Because when when the lead will came to the to the chat, the system sent the API message to Salesforce, and Salesforce will create the lead with the preset parameters, and then the process can start in Salesforce. And what is good to say, Process Builder was released in end of 2015, and everything what is what is uh, what is advantage is that you can use only the process builder instead of the code. Because in the Yacht Chart, a lot of, lot of things, for a lot of things are used code instead of this excellent thing. This is it. Some next questions? Okay, thank you. <laughs>